Grand Dunes at the Kingston Resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I want to introduce you to Sabina. Hello. Sa hey, Sabina. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, she's a director of sales and marketing at an amazing resort right here. Tell us a little bit about your place here. OK, well, as you can see, a beautiful backdrop. We have yes. 145-acre oceanfront resort. Mm -hmm. We have over 1,200 accommodations. So we have something for everybody. We do mm. families in the summer, conventions year round. So, OK, yeah. wow. So what we're going to cook here today, I got a special dish. We got a molasses glazed duck breast here. Yep. And we got a low country Carolina red rice. So what I like to do here, I like to score the breast. You're going to put these lines right across that duck breast. And that's going to allow that flavor of the seasonings to get right on in that breast. OK. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Now, first of all, we want to add a little bit of black pepper. We're going to add a little bit of salt. Then we're going to take the black strap molasses right here. I'm just going to put a little bit on the top. That sweetness there is going to really bring a nice coating right on top of that duck breast. I'm going to take my, my little brush here and hook that up. Cast iron skillet, super hot. I'm going to start off a little olive oil blend here, OK? A little bit of canola and olive oil. I'm going to add that right there. I'm going to lift this baby up. It's going to make a little noise for us. Y'all know what that noise is at home. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Take a nice little sprinkle. A salt, you want to cover that up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful, Sabina. Go ahead and add a little bit of black pepper on there. Perfect. Folks, y'all ready for this at home? Here you go. Look at it. Yeah. Look how beautiful oh, that, that is. is. Very Isn't that great. nice. It smells great, too. Yes. So we're going to go right in the oven, right here on 350 degrees. Check that out a molasses glazed duck breast. So now, what we're going to do here, well, I got a little bit of port wine here. You're going to get all that good stuff right off the bottom there, OK? We're going to cook that alcohol out of that port. We're going to put these carrots in here. And you're going to work the magic spoon, OK? Got it. There you go. Thank you. You're going to go ahead and move those carrots around here. I'm going to cut up a little bit of onion. We're going to build the base for our amazing low country red rice. I have a little bit of rice that's already been pre-cooked. We're going to add in there. I'm going to add in our onion. I'm going to put these green bell peppers in here. What are you smelling right now? Oh, I smell the onions. I smell the peppers. It's delicious. It yeah. really good. About two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic at this Yum. point. About two tablespoons of garlic. I love garlic. Me too. So when you're not working here at the Kingston Resort, what do you do? What do folks do when, they, when they're when they not on the beach? Is there any nightlife or anything here? There is nightlife. We've got a great area down uh, on the south end called Broadway at the Beach. Got okay. several clubs down there to dance, plus theater attractions. OK. There's a lot of theaters. Really? Yeah, we've got um, Alabama Theater, Carolina mm -hmm. Opry. So OK. They're Nashville productions, so they're really good. Qu high quality theater productions here. Right. So. so there's a little something for everybody. Absolutely. That's All kind right. of our motto, Myrtle Beach, something okay. for everybody. Yeah. All right. I took a little bit of chicken stock and put some tomato paste in there, kind of made a tomato paste infused, low sodium chicken stock. Got some collard greens right here. We'll go ahead and add those collard greens in. Let's go ahead and add our rice in. Go ahead, Sabina, you want to go ahead and bring that rice in there? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. And you always want to add okra in towards the end. OK. Then I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste. I love this particular tomato paste because it comes in a tube. <laughs> yeah, so all you got to do is squeeze perfect. a little bit in there like this. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to add a little bit of soy in here, bring another little level of flavor here. I'm going to finish up here with a little bit of crystal hot sauce. You like crystal hot I sauce? I love hot sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and bring out our duck now. <sighs> look at that, baby. Ooh oh, that looks beautiful. Wee. Isn't that nice? Yep, very nice. Oh, yeah. We're going to get some beautiful rice and put some right here in the middle of this plate here. Look at that, we have the okra, the collard greens, the heirloom the carrots in here. Set the plate here. I'm gonna slice this breast now. Nice and medium rare. Look at that. And this is what you want your duck to look like. What I'm gonna do here, set this duck breast right on top of here. So what we're gonna do now, I'm going to take molasses and put a nice drizzle around there for our sauce. Looks beautiful. Molasses glaze, duck breast, a little low country red rice, a little bit of collard greens in there. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. You ready to taste? Time to eat. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Very good. The molasses is really good. Mm -hmm. 
probably the best duck I've ever had. Very tender, very moist. I really like the okra, that it's got that nice texture to mm -hmm. it. Very good. Think we can sell this in your part of your uh, package to your big conventions? Oh, for sure. And I'll come down and cook it for you, too, I as well. I would love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.